Hello friends, so I am back with, with other uh, some interesting video regarding slideshow how to make your own slideshow in Excel. Uh, basically, uh, it's very uh, interesting and uh, you know it's easy, not difficult because there's small code inside this one. You can easily do it yourself. Uh, I will tell you complete how to make this one and uh, i will also share the file with you so you can use in your own application your document your everything according to your application so you can use it on your way my basic purpose is just to how to do this one okay so this is my uh, slideshow when i press uh, start button okay so basically when i stop me they would know this is in classroom and you want to do presentation for example this is one and I made some uh, scenario okay so from when I press start so there's some projector and display some this one project sheet and uh, say press next button to first slide so when I press next so it's my first slide next second slide next third slide next fourth slide okay so when I press so then this previous slide previous slide previous slides so all the previous next you can change all your uh, slides according to uh, your uh, application okay so when i stop so everything will stop so it's like it's like a real uh, like a real scenario okay so how to make this one uh, first of all uh, here i will tell you uh, the main the, the other thing is is in this tutorial is how to insert images the basic purpose to insert image is uh, when you make new slides uh, for different applications so every time you have to change pictures so if you don't use this one then every time you have to put pictures and copy pictures and their picture will be in different size will be copied to different location so it will take much time to set pictures their length their width height so maybe this time consuming and will be headache for you so I made one small code so that you can insert picture every time on the same location and at the same with the same height and width so no 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 need to change its location and adjust its width and height so you can just do with just with, uh, with one button click so how to do this one so let's do it quickly to save time your time and to make my videos uh, shorter so here is a folder name so here I copy it and address image name so here fix you see here are four images are here and when i take properties these are png images okay so from here you can see uh, address here i use uh, concatenate function it's very very interesting uh, good function so you can see uh, basically this is my folder and when i change its name three so it will also change the location in this three image, uh, three image. Okay, so it will basically combine uh, this folder address and uh, uh, the image name and add the this extension. You can also add third hair option for extension JPEG, JPG. It's up to you. At this moment, I'm not, I'm not adding it. Okay, so this is the initial step. Now, first, let's put some code inside this one. Okay, here just click let the let it be command and just a hair change uh, insert pick okay so now what i do from i will save the time and i will copy the direct code so i'll tell you how it works this simple code from here you see uh, there's ID. ID means uh, the, from this one, active sheet or pictures insert. This is the basic uh, uh, syntax for adding pictures, and the left is the where it should be uh, uh, location is top from from here. So from here, it where should be left, how much it should be, and uh, from the top, whether it should be here, here, here. So it's up to you how you basically uh, set this one. And the width and height of uh, the pictures are setting up to you. So the address is 868, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 column, and first row. So first row, and I make it 8th column. Okay, so now let's uh, check this one. Okay, you see, it's my first picture. 
oh, third picture when I press one, so it's my first picture. So all pictures are in the same location and with same height and width. Okay, so first picture, I change its name. I am one. Okay, let it make it big one. I am one. I delete this one again. I put insert. I am one. And uh, again the two. I am two. Okay. Here three. I am three. And uh, last picture four. So it's fourth picture. It's I am four. Okay. So all four pictures are here. So now what I will do? Uh, basically, I go here from shape. I will take a square. So from here, I will up to here. So these are margins. And when I click here, so just right click, send to back. It will go the back and uh, you can choose any location, uh, any color. So I choose this orange color uh, from here, orange color and also effects. You can use these effects like this one. So I use this effect, so it's like uh, some board and uh, let's change its color because it's same like uh, <coughs> the pictures. So make it yellow or some other color okay so this is basically slideshow here um, now what i do i will add some more button here this is button one button two button three button four okay so just uh, this is start. This is next. This is <coughs> previous. This is stop slide. Okay, so all button are there. Now uh, when I go to start. So what I will do from here I go and uh, start click basically I here I copy and directly paste here so start here so the function is basically uh, this is the function active sheet dot shapes its image one with that visibility is false okay so when I press start button so it should not show anything everything should be uh, should be blank okay so when i press start you see everything finished so now here i again add one picture okay so from here uh, basically you add picture okay you from here i add picture and uh, change its color it's a film if you like okay and edit text is start to start next slide okay so change its format anything you want you can do here Press next slide. Okay, so this now I change its name function rectangular. Okay, this is now rectangular. Okay, so what I do again I copy here. So what should we do? This one rectangular should be true. Okay, so this one. I press start should be should be true and when other pictures should be false okay so how we basically uh, 
start slide so the from next button click developer and design again next button so this is our next okay so basically as uh, saving time uh, so from here I copy this one basically the you know uh, this code is very easy just it's just lengthy nothing else everything is same just is repeating okay now code is so when count equals to one then means the first uh, image so first visible to two, other all two three for false when the second phrase button to count is two then first second true other other should not be shown and uh, when third and when fourth like this one so here basically what you do is true so first uh, now what is count function so what we do uh, basically we will here what we do we declare one public variable okay so from here so this is public count basically it's uh, pub uh, public so it will be accessible in all functions so from here so initially when uh, when I press start button okay so this is my start button so this count should be one okay so should be one so when one press I one so this first image will be shown here okay so when do how it count will be two so at the end you write here count equals to count plus one okay so when you press one time so count one this run second time you press then count will be two third time you press count will be three four time press every time this count added so it will press one it will be adding and next uh, image will be shown so what about previous the same thing from previous is like same code I copy from here here this is previous function so this is previous function now here I basically what I do count minus one so when uh, for example the count is at the four means the last slide so here count will be four so four minus one so three so this function will run this if it will run when the when the slide is at the two so count will be to two minus one so it will be one so this one this will be run so this is the previous for previous and this one is for uh, next okay let's check now so this is start and I press next and now you see the picture is coming but this is also shown so I have to also hide this one so from again I go start so what I do copy this one and paste it so when I press uh, command click button means when I press next so the its visibility should be false okay rectangle visibility so now we check start next okay first second picture third picture fourth picture previous third picture second picture first picture second picture third picture fourth picture so when I press stop nothing happening so what I will do I will copy all this one so from this stop button press here this should be false and uh, regarding this uh, base like structure I also call it frame okay so the frame also should also be false false and uh, I call it frame Okay, so again check you see and now other thing uh, the frame is also invisible now this picture so I again copy here all these uh, functions from here and also paste here so when uh, press stop stop means all the rectangular functions will be disappear 
uh, means this one this should be disappear and uh, also you see when I press start now so the frame function now here you see frame function in the start button uh, here should be true okay so so when I press start so my frame is visible my this uh, uh, text window is also visible so from this one it's true it's true all pictures are disabled when i press stop next next uh, frame is visible okay from this one and uh, you see and the text is my uh, text box is, is invisible now so the slide is working and uh, from previous slide is working so when i stop so from stop you see all the, the text window will disappear, frame disappear, and all images will disappear. So that, is, that was all of uh, all I wanted. So you can add also some pictures here, uh, like this picture I found from internet. So you can paste here. Okay. So you can also take it, send it to backward. So this is the main clause here. This one and this thing from here okay so this is your slide this is classroom basically so in classroom you uh, what you do you start presentation next one next one next next all pictures are there and uh, here you can paste anything anything you want so in your application and uh, from with the at the end at the side you can also make some slides for this one for example, you made some uh, statistics, some uh, any financial, anything you did financial and some graph, you made some graphs and you have some screenshot from some internet or some anything. So you can also make slides like this one and you can show your posts and get some clips from them. So basically, this was all about uh, for uh, this tutorial. I hope you got it and I will also share this file and uh, uh, basically uh, I will uh, edit I will protect this sheet with password so basically the password but this sheet will be also this one code it's like computer tech okay so you will can also use it in your you can also edit this sheet in, but when I attach with uh, YouTube, so basically it will be, uh, you know, this editing will be disabled. So you can edit it with this password. Okay, so this was all about for today's uh, tutorial. So I hope you like it. If you have anything you want to ask, you are feel free to, you are always welcome. And uh, you can also give me ideas on which I can make tutorials, good tutorials for you. So till then, uh, take care and bye and see you in next video.